this rather large rock did not show up on any of our charts or our pilotage notes or our electronic charts. Supreme Gainer Silliness, Lesson 94, Storm Sale. Well, look, I'm, I'm just experimenting to see whether my idea for a storm sale is actually viable. What, you're going to make it out of a shower curtain? Possibly. <laughs> no, I just, want to make, I just want to make it first in what I call... Well, I have a loofah and some suds up there as well. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to make it out of uh, my shower curtain. Um... Because I have this idea in my head, and um, when I have ideas in my head, I always try and make them templates or some kind of, you know, cheap materials first. And then once the cheap materials work, then you go to manufacture, don't you? Um, Wait, what you're saying is, this is a prototype. It is a prototype, and yes, I am making it out of a shower curtain. Ah, oh, this! So how's the storm curtain working out? I think it's actually going to work, you know. Basically, I'm thinking, obviously I've got to make it into a triangle somehow or other. So I need to get that bit over there and bring it down here. And then I need another line to keep it down because uh, my, my, my hang dog sail has come off. <laughs> There's my hang dog sail. <laughs> and, uh, but basically, I think it could work, you know, just using the hoist as the bit that you hang on, the lift as the bit you're lifting. And then you're just going to make a little storm sail. It might work. Yeah. It's worth an experiment. I need a better cloth though. <laughs> Definitely. Tobermory and um, and that's another story <laughs> uh, apparently they stopped uh, filming Ballamory about 10 to 12 years ago so um, but I'm sure it's still airing somewhere but uh, anyway we're at Tobermory with the beautiful little houses with all the paint work we've got a tool ship coming in and it just looks fantastic. Tobermory sports um, a little chandler, which is always useful when you're sailing, uh, along with a um, ironmongers, which also sells wines and spirits, uh, exactly what you need uh, in a um, ironmongers. And uh, of course, the normal touristy things like uh, little tea rooms and restaurants and all important co-op just in case you need to do your shopping which is what Bev and I have just done so um, a rather very picturesque little place and um, certainly somewhere that I would recommend people to come yes it can be a bit touristy but do you know what this is June and there's not that many tourists the only problem with uh, doing the washing is when it's raining outside and there's not enough room in the boat to dry it. We've just had a little shower and what absolutely beautiful rainbow to finish it off. After getting the shopping and laundry done, we moved the boat to a mirroring ball out in the bay as this was half the cost of the pontoon. Then we went exploring in Salty Saucy. It's a terrible turn. Driving. <laughs> oh, better watch out for that rock ahead of us then. That would be a good idea. Don't hit the rock. 
One thing we could not avoid hitting was the jellyfish. We've never seen so many. And then we went to have a close look at the Lord Nelson. We made some time to go on some of the walks around Tobermory and enjoy the view. Yeah. Even the little industrial units are quite vibrant colourful. and that colourful, are they then? But eventually, it was back to Salty Lass and time to go. Well, Beverly's and uh, myself's nerves are in shreds because we've taken up the challenge and we have at last done an anchorage. Um, we're in Loch Drambui and I had wanted to um, get a little miniature of Drambui but they didn't have any miniatures in the shop and I didn't really fancy having a whole bottle of it. But yeah, we're in uh, Loch Drambui and uh, we're at anchor and to be honest we're a bit oh have we got it right have we got the calculations right etc etc have we got the scope right there's lots of things that you have to think about when you're anchoring and we think we've got it right but um but as i say we're not experts yet so uh, <laughs> we're far from experts to be honest but Oh, what the heck. Well, somewhere up there is our anchor light. It might not seem an awful lot, but it's great to actually have one and to be actually using it at anchor. Well, 
anchoring for Bev and I is going to be an absolute no-brainer as far as money is concerned because anchoring costs nothing. Um, on a mooring ball in round Scotland costs about £15 per night. Uh, we have paid 17 at one an uh, mooring ball. Um, whereas uh, in a marina in Scotland, uh, twenty pounds was the least we've paid, which was at uh, Port Ellen. Whereas at um, one particular place, um, which was Dunstaffnage, that was thirty six pounds per night. Um, so it's perfectly fine if you're going to go on holiday. Um, even if you're sort of like factoring that into your holiday costs 36 pounds is quite reasonable um you know in comparison to say a bed and breakfast or something like that however if you're going to do this as a way of life 36 quid just becomes untenable because you're talking about a grand a month so it's just not possible for us to um live that way so we're just going to have to get better at anchoring so that's why we're doing these anchor practices here in Loch Drambuie. This rather large rock did not show up on any of our charts or our pilotage notes or our electronic charts and it's easily big enough to hit with the boat. Now when we came in here we must have come very very close to that but at high water that's completely covered and we came in at high water. Yeah, But we're currently about two and a half metres below at the minute below high water so that rock has at least another two and a half meters of tide to go over the top which means it's at least two and a half meters high. Loch Trambue is a popular anchorage so we soon had company. God. Okay how well, we're departing Loch Trambue. We've done our uh, uh, anchorings and I have to say the second one was a lot better wasn't it Bev? Went very very well this morning very pleased with it. Yeah I agree. So me at the front has worked and we're happy with that so now next time it'll be me at the back and Bev at the front.